can't believe the regular season's done. Some of those games I can barely remember. But we did it. We made the playoffs. And tonight, I make my postseason debut. I wasn't sure I'd be here as a rookie. But I can't wait to see what this team can do. Like KG said, anything's possible. So let's go chase that title. Everybody, it's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to the playoffs in my rookie season. I'm going up against Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors, as it should be. I'm guessing they're the number one seed and I'm the eighth seed. I don't know. But I just wanted to let everybody know that I'm sorry for the slow pace that I've been bringing you guys my career videos. Basically, the storyline in the beginning of the game was insane. Like, it was so long, it was drawn out. And I actually couldn't upload videos with like a game and a cutscene because the videos would have been like 30 to 35 minutes long. It would have been absurd to even upload videos that way. So I've been bringing you guys game, then cutscene, then game, then cutscene. So, you know, I'm finishing out my rookie season. This is going to be my last game. Everybody should already know that. If you already have NBA 2K16, you're probably in the third season like me. But just to let everybody know, I will catch you guys up on videos. I got a bunch of things lined up. And Steph Curry be cooking me like crazy, yo. Even now, at the overall that I'm at in real life, it's insane. I'm just going to let y'all know now, Steph Curry is unstoppable in this game. Now, I've tried to mimic his moves by equipping everything that he has on my guy, but it just don't turn out the way I like it. Now, as a little update, number 15 wasn't available when I came to the Sacramento Kings because of being on a team with Cousins. Now, as for where I go in the free agency, that number isn't available as well. So, I've been, I'm going to be switching up my numbers all season long for a few years, actually. You know, just building different storylines. But let's get into a nice little interview with my guy. Recently, we sat down with Freak to discuss his NBA future as a free agent this offseason. Well, I'm not really focused on the future right now. You know, I'm just taking things one step at a time, believing it'll all work out in the end. But right now, I'm just focused on being the best team that I could be. And we are back. It's time for the second quarter to start. Now, I don't want you guys to look at the score and be like, damn, I'm getting his ass beat. Listen, I'm a rookie. I'm like 67, 68 overall. Not, I, I don't even think I'm that in this video. I'm probably still like a 64, 65. But I'm doing what I got to do against Steph Curry, man. I don't know about y'all, but six points? And hopefully some assist before this game is over. It's pretty good up against him, but I'm trying everything I can. And the spin move gets me in the paint every single time. What I try to do is I try to do a half spin, but, you know, my muscle memory is telling me, hey, do a full spin move. And I always lose the ball. So if you guys see a bunch of turnovers in my videos, just know it's for me doing stupid spin moves and just 2K just beating the hell out of me mentally. Now, you guys saw right there, I did a nice little crossover, but that crossover hit the legs of Steph Curry. So, you know, that could have easily been a turnover, but I do like the recover speed. Look at that block. I do like the recover speed when you do do your, like, crossovers and your spin moves. I do like that recovery speed of being able to try to pick up the ball because last year, the CPU would lose the ball and recover it immediately. Now, this year, you actually turn around or the ball actually has, like, some space between it. Whereas, though, you know, you could probably run back and get it. But do you guys see me high flying? High flying. We on a 13-4 run. Now, I know what you guys are going to say. The comeback is real. iPod is about to do it. Nah, bro. I got Rondo on my team. And I'm telling you all now, whenever Rondo touched the ball, 
Bad things happen. Now, luckily, Steph Curry didn't make that layup. I think I got some good shot defense on him right there. Now, that kind of show goes to show that sometimes the computer isn't that crazy as you think he is. Now, I've been hearing over Twitter, a lot of people have been complaining about the defense, how they literally can't get past people and they can't do anything. I've given you guys a bunch of different tips on how to get past players. I've given you a bunch of different tips on how to get through players as well as how to cross over players. Now, if you guys don't use that and you still think you're ass, it's time to bump down the difficulty. Everybody can't play on Hall of Fame, but do you see me lay out Steph Curry right there? I think I almost injured the man and I also got the end one to go. Not phased at all, baby. Not phased at all. But look, the score, though, it doesn't reflect how I'm playing at all. I don't have any assists. I'm not getting my team involved at all. I realize that either I could do it by myself and lose or do it with my team and get like 30. So, yeah, I come back in the game, three minutes left, and I put about three points on the board. But do y'all see the score, though? Like, do y'all see the score? Like, look at the passes that I'm receiving. My teammates ain't doing me no justice, man. Now, the coach did give me a tip. He said, play my own game and have fun out there. I don't know how he thinks I can have fun out here, and I'm getting bombed on. Also, I don't know how I travel right there, but, hey, it is what it is. Now, check this out. Before I get up out of here, I do want to thank you guys for all the crazy support that you guys have been showing me on these 2k videos um i do want to let you guys know that i'm going to keep it up with the madden series i'm going to try to keep it up with the nhl series now the thing about the nhl series the games per season are insane so i don't know if i'm going to be like trying to upload every single video i know i'll probably put up more videos of me playing against my son and my nephew most likely um but for the madden the the career mode will continue um it's just i'm very busy i've been flying everywhere i got a lot more flights to catch i got a lot of different places to go and i got a lot of obligations that i have to hold up as being a gamer and game tester so i just want to thank you guys for all your support um we're closing in on 400,000 subscribers so i can't be any more happy and i hope you guys are happy as well um, I'm probably going to throw a party around that time, so, you know, I'm probably going to schedule something, probably like a 12-hour stream or something like that. I'll, I'll see what I can do. But this is your boy IKC signing out. I took that L, so I'm going to go ahead and hold that. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now we get a chance to present our Jordan Player of the Game, Stephen Curry. The fourth quarter was all him. It was like he couldn't miss, and it was just one basket after another. Starting out the series, this is a huge win to go up 1-0. He gave them the energy and effort they needed. Huge performance, and what a time to do it. If he can keep up this effort, Ernie, boy, oh boy, oh boy. I will say this about Steph Curry. There is no player in the league more capable of single-handedly taking over a ball game than he is. What I mean is, Steph Curry's hot is hotter than anyone else is hot. He can beat you with his feet, his mind, his shot. The only thing you can be sure of is that he will beat you. And we are still early in the postseason. There's more round one action of the NBA playoffs coming your way. For Shaq and Kenny the Jet Smith and Kevin Harlan and the entire 2K Sports crew. Good night, everybody. <laughs>